welcome to rmc a bishop channel my dear brother sister in north india it is very common to see the children and the elderly flying the kite in the sky it is a very beautiful sight to watch them the joy that emerges from that innocent sport is very soothing there is even a season dedicated for kite flying in north india the technique of kite flying is in the handling of the thread which is in the hands of a person who controls the kite with it and as a result of that control which is performed by a combination of pull and release of the thread the kite flies higher and higher our lives are like this kite the more control we have over ourselves and our lives the happier and the freer we will feel higher we will fly in our lives and success will be in our reach if the kite says that it is in the control of others and therefore it is in slavery and then demand to be released totally then what will happen the kite will simply nose dive to the ground that is a failure our life too is like that if we dream of a life that is totally out of any controls then that life can never be enjoyed it will be a failure the only difference is in the nature of man and the kite kite is an inanimate thing and therefore it is lifeless therefore it has to remain in the control of man whereas man is a living being therefore man too should remain in the control but not the point not in the control exercised by others but by ourselves this is what we call self control as we exercise the self control allow others to control themselves we should not try to control others the reason why we sometimes get angry with other people is probably because they have not met our expectations or we are trying to control them and they have not let us to do so then we get angry sometimes the simple expectation that a person should behave as we want them to is in itself an attempt to control them when we try to control another person which is impossible we are bound to fail feel frustrated and stressed such situations should never be allowed to occur in our lives similarly we should not hand over the control of our lives into the hands of others this is not contrary to being law abiding the laws that we obey are made for ourselves so let us not get confused that when we obey the laws we are controlled by others it is not so i freely choose to be part of a system and then i obey the laws of that system there is no infringement of the freedom in that situation what i am trying to say here is that we are capable of having power over ourselves we can be more responsible for our thoughts and feelings we have the capacity to freely choose how we respond to different situations and people that we come across in our lives if we do not exercise sufficient control over our thoughts and emotions we may easily fall into the tendency of seeing ourselves as victimized and then we start blaming others making them responsible for how we feel it is not true when we do this we are forgetting that we had created our own thoughts when this happens we are handing over the control of our thoughts to those who influence criticize attack or slander us therefore let anybody say anything about us we should not still be un- we should be still unaffected by it we can always respond to such situations 
after evaluating them critically from all view points therefore my dear brother sister be strong be sure of yourself having control of on your thoughts and your own emotions if you don't control your thoughts and your emotions your thoughts and your emotions will control you then you will be like an unbridled horse without any control losing all your energy in useless things and useless matters therefore exercise self control in every situation be bold and be strong and 100% alert always that's all for today my dear now i am going to give you my blessing may almighty god bless you and your family in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen a soft reminder to rmca followers who listen to my talks please listen two talks daily it will help you and then i am sure you will stay blessed please do keep me also in your valuable prayers please look at the screen of your mobile now and see if the word subscribe is still in red color please touch it and make it black thank you now may i request you for a help please kindly send this talk only to your selected five friends who probably may appreciate and benefit from it because jesus said don't throw pearls in front of pigs once again god bless you wish you a good day humbly always in the mission of the lord and the church bishop franco mulakel